today I'm going to show you how to get rid of some excess body hair in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Now, I'm not one to talk because uh, if you haven't noticed, I have quite a bit of arm hair, but we were going through the contest entries from last week and this image by Jason won the contest. It's a really, really great image. And Kelsey, who just started as our intern, came up with some episode ideas. And one of hers was removing some excess body hair and uh, body hair, we're all mammals. We all got hair. This is not a bad thing, but sometimes the sun can catch some hair in a way that's just gonna cause a little bit more attention to be drawn to this hair or whatever these little details are. And I'm gonna show you guys how to take care of them in Photoshop. So we'll just get like a nice, clean um, <laughs> looking image. But by no means am I saying that everyone should have clean shaven arms because um, I would be the biggest hypocrite in the world. I'll show you guys how to do some of these things in Photoshop. All right, so we've got this image by Jason and it really is just a really great image. Very well done, the color work is very nice. Everything about it looks great. And um, Jason, you won a Flurn Pro tutorial for having us edit your image, by the way. Okay, what we are gonna be doing is taking care of some of this, uh, the body hair. And you know, here in on her head and everything like that, it looks great. Uh, the areas that we were, you know, talking about for concern, just stuff like this, these little little guys here along the uh, along the border, and it's because it's being backlit and it's kind of catching the sunlight. And um, that's something, you know, a small little detail that you can take care of. Really shouldn't take too much time, and uh, could make things just look a little bit more smooth. So basically, what we need to do is we need to be able to create a selection, smooth that selection out, and then take care of this body hair. And there are a couple ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the easy way first what probably most of you guys will do, and then I'll show you the hard way, and the hard way is the way that I would do if this were like a image for a commercial client and I wanted it to be perfect. But the easy way will work for most things, it's just gonna, it's not gonna be as refined as the hard way. Okay, so here's the easy way. We're gonna create a new layer. There we go, uh, shift, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> shift option command N. And I'm gonna go to my magic wand tool here. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna click right here on the outside of our subject. So we can see it's kind of selecting these areas. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and continue to click. And there we can see it's kind of selecting out this area that's on the outside of the subject. You could do it with the inside of the subject too, but basically we're just selecting out similar areas. Now, if you had something in the background that was a little bit more detailed, you would not be able to use this method. You'd have to use the next method, which is the harder method. Okay, let's do the same thing down here. Um, shift and clicking on these areas and it's gonna select areas that are relatively similar. We don't have to take every, every little piece of arm here, um, but we're gonna show you how to do it over here. Okay, so we've selected all those areas out, but we can see, if I zoom in, the selection includes, you know, all these little jagged areas with the arm hair and everything like that. So we need a way to smooth that out. We're gonna go up to Refine Edge right up here at the top. If you don't see that, just go to Select and then down to Refine Edge here in your selections. Okay, now what's really nice with this, let's just zoom in by hitting Command Plus, is I can see what my edge looks like. You have a few different options for previews. You can see it in the overlay mode. You can see it on white. You can see it here, black and white, which will give you like a really good idea of what it's gonna look like. And um, that'll just help you kind of like see what the actual selection's looking. Well, we wanna smooth this out. So the first thing I wanna do is turn our feathering up. And what feathering does is just kind of like makes everything a little bit soft. It makes our edge quite a bit softer. And you know, it's gonna get rid of all those little details but it's way too soft. So we're gonna then bring our contrast back up. So feathering is first making everything soft and then contrast is making it back hard again. And what it does is it removes all your small little details. Now let's click on things like you can see the selection on layers. Um, let's see how it looks on white or how it looks on black. There we go. On white doesn't really work because I can still see all those little hairs, but let's see how it works on black. And we can zoom in by hitting command plus and hitting okay. So there we can see, this is what our selection looks like. You can see it's not including all the, all the hairs at this point. So I think that's a pretty good start. So we're gonna hit okay. So again, we've turned our feathering up and our contrast up as well. If you don't turn your contrast up enough, you get a, still a very soft edge. So you wanna make sure you turn it up, up enough to where you actually get a hard edge. We're gonna hit okay now. And this is what our selection looks like. It's right around our subject. Okay, if you hit Q, it's a quick mask, you can see what your, what your selection looks like visually. You can hit Q again, we'll turn that off. So now that we have our selection, keep in mind we're selected outside of our subject. What we wanna do is kind of figure out a way to get rid of this hair, okay? So on this layer, you can hide a selection and I would recommend doing this, especially when you're working like this and you, sometimes the, you know, the border of the selection 
gets in the way of you seeing what you're doing. So you hit Command H to hide your selection. If you're doing that for the first time, Command H, it might ask you to hide Photoshop or hide the selection. Um, make sure you click hide the selection. So Command H, and now our selection is hidden. It's still active, it's just hidden. So what we're gonna do, because we're on the outside of this area now, we can use the clone stamp tool, you could use a brush tool, really whatever you want, but I'm gonna hold, use the clone stamp tool for now, and on a new layer, I'm gonna sample outside here, so Alt or Option, sample there, and then I'm gonna paint towards the inside. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna get rid of all my small little hairs. Because I've selected out an area and made it nice and smooth, there we go, and this is going to just kinda like clone stamp from the outside in over top of these little hairs. There we go. And for the most part, it's gonna look great. Um, depending on how long you spend on this clone stamp and things like that, that's how good this is going to look. You know, if you just do this and you do that, like it's not gonna look good, obviously. Like spend a little bit of time, make sure, make sure you get something that you're happy with. All right, and again, if you do have a very shallow depth of field, like this image, for instance, it's going to be easier. It's gonna make your job quite a bit easier because, well, you know, there's not a lot of detail in the background, so this clone stamping is just gonna be it's gonna be easier to make it more believable. Now, we've taken care of the outside in, so we can see there's the before and the after with that. Again, the background looks a little bit clone stamped, but I'm doing this relatively quick. So we're gonna do the opposite now. Instead of doing the outside in, we're going to go to select and I'm gonna to go to inverse. So now what it's doing is I'm actually selected the arm. So before we were selected the background, we've inverse the selection, so now it's selecting the arm. Well, we can do the same thing from the inside out. So the outside, we brought the background in to meet the arm, and now we're gonna make, make the arm go out to meet the background. So again, I'm gonna hit Command H on this. We're gonna use our clone stamp tool. And this time I'm gonna make a nice small uh, brush and I'm gonna sample right inside and then just paint towards the outside there. There we go. And what this is gonna do is because we have that nice smooth selection there, it's just gonna make sure it fills up all the way to the edge of our selection. There we go. So what we're gonna result with is like a very nice clean edge because we've gone from the outside in and the inside out. So let's just see there's the before and the after. Let's zoom out and we can see there's our before and our after with a nice smooth edge. So this is the quick way to do it. Well, it wasn't incredibly quick, but you know, to do it well, that's, that's what I would suggest. It's the easy way anyway. Um, in my opinion, it's not the better way, but it is the easier way. The better way, in my opinion, is to use the pen tool. And this is really, um, I think if you were to talk to any Photoshop professional, this is probably what they would be using here, would be the pen tool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use the pen tool. Let's just shift click the two of those, hit Command G to group them, and then I'm gonna turn this off, okay? So there we've got the pen tool. Now what I wanna make sure, sorry, we're gonna create a new layer and click on the pen tool. So P for the pen tool. We're gonna make a selection that's right around here. Now the pen tool is for making selections, just like the magic wand tool, just like you know the lasso tool, things like that. It's just gonna be a little bit more precise. It's gonna take a little bit more time for you to get comfortable with the pen tool because it is a little bit more of an advanced tool, but it will make very nice selections. So using the pen tool, basically if I click here in this area, I'm gonna click here and drag out, and that's gonna create what's gonna be the start of a curve, okay? Now I'm gonna click in this area here and pull in this way and it's gonna bring the curve in that way. If you guys have any questions on how to use the pen tool, we have a lot of free episodes on the pen tool. Just click on the tags button right above this episode and you'll see a pen tool option there. That's gonna be all the episodes tagged with a pen tool and you can watch those episodes and learn how to use the pen tool a little bit better if you have any questions. Okay, so now we're gonna pull this on down. Now what I'm gonna also do with this pen tool is I'm gonna smooth out her arm because we've got a little bit of a, um, an angle there where this is kind of coming out and in there, things like that. So I'm gonna use this same tool to smooth out her arm in general. So not just the hair, uh, but her arm as well. I'm gonna bring that down just like this. And notice I'm trying to stay on the inside border for the most part of the arm. Here it curves in a little bit much. I'm going to, I'm no, I'm going to not stay on the inside border of the arm. I'm gonna to go to towards the outside and that's gonna help smooth out the arm. And then we're gonna come right down there. So I'm just clicking and dragging. I've done nothing with my, you know, with my, uh, keyboards, you know, command or alt or anything like that. I'm just clicking and dragging, click up and drag that way, click up and drag that way, and close it off by clicking in the beginning. Now we're gonna right click here, and I'm gonna go to, we're going to go to, um, all right, we're in our pen tool. Why is it not showing up? All right, right click and go to make selection. There we go. It wasn't showing up because I had clicked outside of my path, 
To make sure your path is selected, hold down the command or the control key and click on your path. You'll see all your control points again, and then it's going to allow you to right click and say, make selection. Okay, we're gonna feather that by about one radius, and you can see I'm, I'm gonna be smoothing out that area in a rebel. Like, I, I did that on purpose. If you wanted to follow it more closely, you totally can, um, but we're taking care of the arm as well as the arm hair here. Okay, we're gonna smooth that up, and there we have a selection. So I'm gonna hit Command H to hide, and now, using our clone stamp tool, we're gonna paint from the outside in. And we're gonna see what a really nice and smooth selection the pen tool gets us. It's so much nicer and so much more smooth than anything you're going to get from any other tool. This is what the pen tool is all about. So here's from the outside in. Now, here, this area, we wanna smooth this area out, so I'm gonna hold Alt or Option again, sample from the inside, and paint out, but we're getting something that looks a bit weird. Why is that? Because we need to inverse our selection. So we're, paint, we're selected on the outside. Now I want to select on the inside. So we're going to select, go, to, go down to inverse. Now we're selected inner arm, command H to hide that again. And then we're going to hold alt or option, select this out, and then paint from the inside out. OK. And that looks great. So what we've got now is a couple of different things. We got rid of all of our arm hair. And this is, in my opinion, it's the better way to do it, but it is the harder way. We got rid of all of our arm hair, but also we took care of a little, you know, a couple areas that we had like a little bit, you know, a bony area sticking out here. This wasn't as smooth and that kind of like comes in as well. So this is using the pen tool method here on her arm, just like that. In my opinion, again, the better way because you can shape her arm as well as the hair. And this is using just the, sorry, this is using the um, magic wand tool. You're not going to get as clean of an arm. You can see it kind of like it pokes you know, up here and then kind of comes down and then up and down. It's just, it just doesn't really look great. It does the job, but again, not quite as refined. So if you guys are interested in the benefits of the pen tool, this is a really great example of how you can use the pen tool to really get something done well. And if you have any suggestions or questions about it, just click on the tags above and make sure you find the pen tool. Plenty of episodes on the pen tool. Guys, that's it. You can use the same technique for basically deleting or taking care of any little details, especially if they're around like a border of someone. If they got, you know, extra hair sticking out or like a t-shirt that's got like a, a tag sticking out or something like that, you can use this exact same technique. Select on the, select the border, clone stamp from the outside in and the inside out and you'll get that very nice clean line. And that's it guys. Very, very cool. I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see. If you guys use this for anything, please leave it in a comment down below. I would love to see how you used it. I'm sure there are many applications that I haven't even thought of. Thanks so much, guys. We'll learn you later. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it's a pen tool?